Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 16 of my Programming with Python tutorial. Before you watch this tutorial, you most definitely should watch part 10, because I'm going to do a lot with file input and output in this tutorial, and I do not have the time to exactly go through all the things that I'm doing with it. But in this tutorial specifically, I'm going to cover how to bring in files using TK Interface, edit files, and then save any changes that were made, and a whole bunch of other things you can do with TK Interface. Well, to start off, I'm of course going to bring in the TK interface module as well as the message box module here and I'm going to start creating my app and definitely you should watch the previous tutorial to this because I go over all the different things that I'm doing here and this is just the name of my application what's going to show up in the title bar and then I'm going to define how big I want my application to be, meaning size-wise. I'm going to make it 560 by 460 plus 200 plus 200. And then here I'm going to show you how to make a menu bar using TK Interface. I'm going to give it a name. You have to use the menu method here and pass it the name of your app, which in my case is app. And here I'm going to define my file menu. So like I have up here file, I'm going to define that right here. And you just pretty much just type exactly what I have here on the screen. Of course, all the code's available at newthinktank.com for free. And here I'm specifically defining a new label that I'm going to call open grades. What it's going to do is when somebody clicks on it, it's going to pull in a specific file. And it's going to do that by calling a method I'm going to create here in a minute called open grades. And then I'm going to create another entry. What I'm doing here is I'm creating these guys, all of these different entries right here. And you're going to see that in a minute. This is going to open a file that's going to list the students ranked in order based off of their performance on a test. I'm going to name the method that's going to call right like that. And if I want to put a separator, see these are separators right here between these different things. If you wanted to put one of those in there, just call the add separator method right inside of there. And then this final one is going to provide the users of your application with the ability to quit your application, which is useful. And you do not need to define this. This is something that's built into TK Interface. And then after you get all of those individual pieces defined, you want to call the cascade method, which is going to wrap them up in the menu bar option. And I'm going to call it file. So I'm going to give it another name. Label is equal to file, comma, menu, equal file. And that's going to create my first one. And if I want to create an additional one, like uh, help, drop down menu here. I'm going to call this help menu. You can call it whatever you want. You have to use the menu method. Then call the add cascade. And I'm going to keep this guy real simple. I'm just going to put an about me in here. I'm going to call another method called about me that I'm going to again define here in a minute. Menu, help menu. And after I do all of that, I define all of the different options I want to put in my menu bar. I call the config method and define the name for my menu bar. And then I want to show you exactly what this will do if I run it, but I'm going to have to define all of the different methods that I'm going to be calling and just put pass in here, which I'm sure you know what that means if you saw the other tutorials. Open rank. Okay, so I got all those defined. So if I run it, you'll see when I select it, file opens up up here. And these guys don't do anything now because the methods aren't, don't exist yet. But you can see there's help and there's file. And that's if you're running a Windows PC, you might actually see those inside of your ap actual application. It all depends on which OS you're working with, but it's either going to show up up here. I'm going to zoom in up here or it's going to show up right in your application. So there's a working menu bar that I built using TK interface inside of Python. And let's run it again. And you can see I can go file and quit and it actually kills the application using that. So that's useful. But like I said, I'm going to make here a application that's going to allow you to edit student grade files and then save that information. So I need to come in here before I close out my entire TK interface here with the app main loop. I'm going to define a multi-line statement and I'm going to call it about student, and you call the text method whenever you want to create a multi-line statement about student. You then use the insert method to define any string you want to put in there in this multi-line statement. I'm just going to put that, you can put anything in there you want. And then I just want to pack it like I did with all the other widgets that I used in the previous tutorial. I call in the pack method. 
And now I got a multi-line statement on there. One of the other widgets I haven't shown you is the drop-down box. So I'm going to create a drop-down box called student files. And I'm telling Python that this is going to contain a string variable. That's what I'm doing with this line right here. So it's aware. I'm using the set method to set the value of this information that's going to be contained in the drop-down box to none by default. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a list. And this list is going to be of all the options I want in the drop-down box. Student rank. And then option menu is actually the method you call when you want to create a drop-down box and you pass it the name of your application, the default strings that it can possibly contain right here with student files. And then I'm going to put a star. And what this is actually going to import is a list, this list right here that you created. That's what the star does. It actually allows you to import a never-ending supply of arguments through a list. And if somebody selects something in the drop-down box, it's going to call a file called open files. And then just to be quick here, I'm going to put the pack statement at the end of it. Okay, so this right here is, op is going to create a multi-line widget inside of your application, and this is going to create a drop-down box. Now I'm going to create a button, and you saw me do this in a previous tutorial, but I need a button for everything to work the way that I want it to work. And the text that I want to be shown on my button is going to be save grades. The width I'm going to leave equal to 20 like I did previously. Whenever it is clicked, it's going to call a method called save grades. And here I'm going to define using the pack method where I want my button to show up on the screen being the bottom and the padding that I prefer to give to my button. And there you are. So that creates a button, a multi-line list, and a drop-down box. And all this stuff up here creates your menu system. Okay. So now all we got to do to make this guy fully functional to allow you to bring in information from text files and be able to edit and then save that information is to create these methods. What I'm doing here is I'm going, I'm telling Python interpreter that I want to open a file called student grades and I could put an R in here saying I wanted to read from the file, but by default that's exactly what it's going to do. And then a call about student which is the multi-line statement that we created down here below. And I'm going to tell Python that I want to delete everything that is contained inside of that multi-line widget. That's what that does. About student, about student. Right here, this is the name multi-line widget. That's what I'm doing. I'm calling the delete method on it, and I'm deleting everything that is inside of it. Here, I'm going to create a new string that I'm going to be saving all the information that I get from the file that I just opened. I'm going to iterate through all of the lines of text in that file and save them to student grade string using shorthand notation here. Right. Then after I open or bring in all that information and store it as a string, I'm going to use the insert method to paste it into the multi-line statement or widget. Here I'm closing the file that I pulled all that information from, and here I'm exiting from the method. Okay. Well, now I'm going to also do the same thing for another file called student rank. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this into here, and change grade to rank. Okay. And I know there's neater and better ways to do this. I'm well aware I'm doing this so these tutorials are understandable more than perfect. Okay. Now, whenever you choose something from this drop-down, being students' grade and so forth and so on, I'm going to call command open files. Whenever this file is, or whenever this method is opened, it is going to be passed whatever was selected in this drop-down. So whenever we define this method up here, I'm going to have to be able to gather that information as it is passed and then perform certain actions based off of whether it's passed. What I'm going to do is just say if selection is equal to student grades, meaning a string with the value of student grades is passed, I am going to call my open grades method that I just created above. Else, again, this isn't best practice, but just doing it. I'm going to open open rank. And in this method, I'm going to provide the option to save any changes that were made. And this is going to get the string that is in the multi-line statement, whether it's been changed or not, and save it to this string called grade update. And then I'm going to call for the file student grades text to be opened for writing. And that's why I have that W inside of there. And then here, with this method, it's actually going to write to file to 
It's going to overwrite to file. It's going to copy all this new information over top of whatever exists there. Just so you know, if you wanted to append to the end, you'd put an A. But in this situation, I actually want to overwrite that information. I want it to be deleted. And then I close the file because I don't need it anymore. And then for the About Me section, I'm going to call Message Box. Yeah, I'm just going to put Hello on the side of there. And Return. And Return. And as long as I didn't mess anything up here as I was typing that in, this should run, which it looks like it has. And as you can see here, here's the multi-line statement. I can come in here and hit help about me and a little message box opens up, close that. I can come in here and say open grades and it goes and gets all the information that's stored in the open grades file. I can come down here to the drop down box and pull in all the information from the student rank area. And I could also come in here to the grades area and let's say I change Mark's score to 87 because I made a mistake and I change Paul's score to 67 because I made an error there. And I can click on save grades and then remember 87, 67. And then if I jump over to rank, bring this back up and jump back to grades, you can see that it has been changed. So I show you here pretty much how to change text files, save text files, use different GUI elements how to create menu systems, uh, how to bring message windows up, and a whole bunch of other things. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'm also kind of wondering, I was going to originally do a tutorial on Django, but because it's so hard to set up on most of the major hosting companies, I'm kind of doubting that it's going to be useful for anybody out there who isn't already a hardcore coder who probably already knows Django and doesn't need a tutorial. So I'm looking for input from you guys on whether to continue with the Python tutorial and if so, what specifically should I cover? Understanding that there's a lot of networking things that literally cannot be done in a video tutorial because they're too complicated. Even this tutorial today might be too complicated to actually go through because this is a full working application, which you never see anybody do in a 15 minute tutorial. So I'm looking for your input out there. So till next time.